All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler at Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler at Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Okay, now everything's working. Okay. Okay, so the last episode, we helped, we found Jacob. He was helping some ex Cerberus scientists, so we helped them escape from where they were, and we um, sent them to Admiral Hackett to work on the Crucible. So... See, we're getting there for military strength. We're getting there. I want to get it maxed. That's what I want to do. Or get it as close as I can to max. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. Right? Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Do I now? A memorial. Ashley wants us to go to the Citadel. Um, she wants to put something up on the memorial wall. Miranda Lawson. She's at the Citadel again. She wants us to talk to her, so we'll see about doing that. Garrus wants us to do a little R&R at &R Citadel. Liara wants to do a little R&R &R, um, on the Citadel. And Javik wants some R&R &R on the Citadel. So... We'll see about going to the Citadel, it looks like. Just to get that done, you know? I mean, I, I know it's boring. Oh, you're just going to the Citadel and doing stupid things. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of boring. But at the same time, you know, I mean, I, I like doing all this. I, I really do. I know we can visit the apartment. It's the apartment's actually a DLC. We'll do that later when we get all the uh, squad mates. Because it's a lot funner when you have all the squad mates. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Okay. Thank you for that, Edie. <laughs> All right, here's Mr. Javik over here. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds, the galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. 
You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. <laughs> this one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. <laughs> So that's a cool little, um, that's a cool little thing you do with Javik. Okay, we're going to talk to a Miranda over here at the Spectre office. Yeah, where's Miranda, damn it? No. Here we go. Message terminal. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Yeah, all right. I knew there was a way to talk to Miranda. I just couldn't remember how to do it. Okay, so where are we going next? The Embassy Guard. Okay.
Yeah, always do your optional stuff first. Don't don't just run through the entire game because you're gonna miss out on stuff, you know. You the guard, you are the guard. Ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You gonna go... Zaid! Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid? There's the bug. I was looking for it. I knew it was here. Somewhere. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through. Was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Okay, they automatically send us to the... Um, Presidium. Now arriving at... Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why is he... Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name, all of a sudden? Good question. Reaper forces continue their assault on Asari space, claiming the newest cluster and the Sabian Nebula. Damn. 
dead. Wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You should have gone to CSEC if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. <laughs> we saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for it. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that, huh? Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. c sex on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks, if you like. Okay. But we have a s s s scientist Where's the science? Oh, at the bank. I'm going the wrong way. But I need to see about buying stuff anyway. Welcome to Agor Munitions. By you, and you, and you, and you. All right. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Citratine Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. There we go. We got everything bought. Cool. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's Oh. See if Liara wants anything. I don't think she does, but we'll have to see. Oh, she does. Here you don't want to do something a little more exciting. I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. 
Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. What? I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way, too. I know. Welcome to the Citadel Gift Shop. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. Okay. Oh. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still, I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall <laughs> garden, so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Thank you. You. You special wartime discount. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. There. I like getting those piercing mods upgraded as much as I can. Well, let's see about that scientist. There it is. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Combine. If it exists, the e-gel thermal it. conduit, we need that. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Ooh, give me the jellyfish. I want the jellyfish. Damn right. Cultivating serenity is possible. We appreciate All right. So, where are we going next? Uh... Go to the hospital and talk to Jacob. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Webster Memorial Hospital. There he is. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down. <laughs> Piecing it together, it's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. 
And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Damn! Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but... I think I've knocked her up! forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. All right. Too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay Is safe. It... Cool. Love talking to Jacob. Cool dude. He's a cool dude. Um... Do I want to risk going to fucking purgatory? Spectre status to see if Steve is there? Because he left us a message saying that, oh, next time we're in the Citadel, I want to go to the nightclub. Well, you know, purgatory's a nightclub. Where's he at? Three, the lower bar? Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're finding. Joker and Edie's over here. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jack, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Yeah, Steve is supposed to be over here, but he's not. It must be a glitch.
Yeah, it must be a glitch. Okay, so where are we going next? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in the holding area, so we'll go there next. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. Here's Ashley. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. See her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is coping with all this reminds me of dad whatever was going on he put a smile on his face for us your family made you what you are he did his best with four daughters and a strong wife he always said live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde your sister's waiting you'll be fine Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Okay. Now we need to find Tactus. But she's right next to Kelly Chambers. Hey there. Oh, it's you. Hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. They... Next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. Sure, you're right. I look forward to the evacuation. Cerberus forces have attacked Tachanka, apparently trying to weaken the resistance against the Reapers. Oh, we went too far. Whoops. Cerberus attempts to take control of the Citadel have failed, and CSEC forces have killed the last invasion. There's Kelly. There's Tactus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies. And my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. 
I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. There we go. Okay, so where's Zaid? He's with James. Which he... There he is. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Okay. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but... You know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hope, but the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, sir. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Okay, so we got James Zaid dealt with. Um... The only other one's Garris at the docking bay. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. What? But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying, trying to live. live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turians swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. Yeah, they that's true. All the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. 
They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. Whoa! That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Yep, we missed on purpose. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Windy up here. We're going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Garrus is cool. I, I love Garrus. I love Garrus. He's cool, dude. Okay, we're done here. We're going back to Normandy. We're going to see about doing some more quests, maybe. See what's up on the galaxy map. Oh, but first we need to talk to Dr. Chakwas. I think she got those medical supplies. And we need to talk to Engineer Adams, too. To turn in that uh, thing he wanted. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't, Doesn't count. count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Hey, Commander. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Damn right. Let me see. Um, Ashley's on Starboard. Observation will check her out, too. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Okay, we'll see about doing that. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Scars. Who you mention those? Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning so you ran a cleaning service on omega back on fell prime i uncovered a pair of harvesters had to kill them by myself two worm necks that's almost impressive 
Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. <laughs> Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas Relay. Okay. We're gonna get health by 5%. That's what I'm gonna do. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Here's a list of purchases from Zaid. He got grenades, thermal cliffs, metagel, uh, firestorm fuel, armor plating, field rations, weapon repair kits, some scotch whiskey, some rifle parts. Hell yeah. Okay. I've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. <laughs> finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. <laughs> Why is some of the banner just so so funny in this game? We got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children, could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping the scientist right from under the elusive man's nose, that's gotta piss him off. <laughs> right? Okay. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eaty? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't tell Joker. He'll get jealous. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we should be able to go now. Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. We did meet her, actually. So... Take a look around here. I'm thinking this one we need to go to to look for stuff. Got them. Got them both in one shot. Nice. 
Oh, there's a third one here. Okay. Element zero converter. Nice. Either gonna, yep, there it is. Emergency fuel pods. Sweet. Out of here we go. Signal confirmed. There they are. Nice. That's not a bad way to find stuff right there. <laughs> Garvog, I know we need to come here. For the Prothean data drives. Sweet. Alright, and there should be something here. Might be just um wreckage or something, I don't know. There it is. Sign Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> why is that so funny? Why is that so why was that so funny back in the day? Sayonara, suckers! You know, the people in Nickelodeon should have known that we kids were gonna keep saying that over and over and over again. You know? It's like Beavis and Butthead how we used to call each other fart knockers and bungholes. Signal confirmed. Y'all know what bunghole is, don't you? What a bung is, it's for um, whiskey barrels. It's to, um, it's like the cork that goes into a little hole that goes to a barrel, you know, whiskey barrel or whatever. Um, so when you'd call someone a bunghole, it's really not that much of a, it's not that much of an insult. I learned that from Moonshiners. Because Mark and Digger had one of the bungs break out of one of their um, barrels. They were sea agent whiskey. All right, we'll land here. We'll see about doing a quest here. Since it's the Asari we're helping, we're gonna, um, we're gonna bring Liara. We'll bring Ashley, why not? The chick squad, why not? They're not babes, they're chicks. There's a difference. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Oh shit! Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. 
But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Arda Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. If Asari High Command believes this is a threat worth purging, then that's our goal. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. There we go. Another shuttle. It's still warm. We'll take that. The stability dampener for the assault rifles. Um. Damn, bugs are getting terrible this year. Disabled to prevent entry or escape. I wonder. Probably both. Sounds close. A little too close. Okay, I want to just explore around here. Stay sharp. See? This was the commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A map showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. I know which way to go, but I'm not going yet, because, again, I want to look, make sure I get all the items. I know it doesn't matter, but still, I, I like to do it anyway. It's free stuff, you know. See, look, there's something right here, a melee stunner. That was me. Sorry. See, and an, up an upgrade for Glyph, see? So, see, that's why I like looking around. I, I like making sure I get everything. That way then... Okay. Yep, we're ready to go now. Jump up and over. Is it snowing? It is. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. 
two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the Commandos brought here. The Chestakar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Okay. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. One. Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. Not sure how I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. Agreed. Okay. Is this where we start fighting? I think so. Oh, there you are. Sorry. What have the Reapers done? Too much, Liara. Too much. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words. With pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? 
But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Flair. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Flair? I'm sorry. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Okay. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Okay, nothing over here. Okay. That's how you do that. Damn, they're loading us up with ammo here. Picked up a disciple. We'll take that. Okay. Oh, we got on the stairs. Here we go. Like, how the hell we get down here? Got on the steps. Hello. Got your ass. Got your ass. Yeah, I no scoped their asses, didn't I?
Precision scope. Another commando got overrun? This place must have been chaos. Or they panicked. Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. You never know what'll break your unit. Yeah, you should know, Ashley. Being you lost the 212 back on Eden Prime. Oh, did we just come from here? I'm thinking maybe we did. We got yearned around, it looks like. Yeah, that's what happened. We got yearned around. There's the bomb. And Valer. Rila, wake up! Valer, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Okay, nothing here. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. There we go. Where's the other one? There we go. For now, let's get back to that bomb. and take her, Shepard. Come on. Just whack her one in the head and then take her.
not your slave. Boom, motherfuckers! Goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so. Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this, this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Falaire. I'll be waiting. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Right? I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. What does Admiral Hackett want? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about the Asari? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension, 
They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. How about the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. All right. Well, we're going to save and call it for this video. I mean, I know it sucked that I've ditched did stuff at the Citadel, but, you know, it has to be done. So next video, we'll see next episode. We'll see about doing some more quests. So hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next video.